Hey everybody, so I decided to take another run at an ultimate screen player. This time around, I decided to try out the Troy Deeney card, and he's pretty awesome. He's got 93 pace and 87 physicality, and on basic chem, he's got 96 strength and 97 sprint speed, uh, and that also comes along with 99 shot power, 93 positioning, 87 finishing. I mean, he's just a beast. His dribbling and his passing are not that great. So he's very much a um, target striker slash um, balanced. He, he's actually pretty great just being a balanced striker, making runs in behind while also holding up the play, making a couple of passes here and there, but he's not great at dribbling on the ball. His agility is pretty bad. He's got 62 agility, so real he cannot dribble that fast. I mean, despite his incredible sprint speed, he really cannot dribble that fast. So don't try and make those runs in behind and get him dribbling, you know, past. I mean, he's just not really going to be able to make that kind of play. What I will say about him is that he is surprisingly good at passing. That was definitely the area that I was most impressed. Well, not impressed with, but surprised with. I didn't expect his passing to be that good. He's just as good of a playmaker as he is a goal scorer. So that's something really important is that you can use him in whichever way. You don't have to use him specifically for just, you know, backing down defenders or just running in behind, you know, with his pace and then, you know, just freaking ripping one. Um, he's a very balanced striker, surprisingly. Um, another area that he is super great in, and he has great long shots. Um, he's got, obviously, the 99 shot power is great. He's got 86 long shots. He is so good. If, you are, if you're playing against an opponent who is letting you have space outside the box, I mean, take as many long shots as you can because he's great. Another thing is he's got great jumping ability. Um, along with his strength, he's got um, really solid jumping skills. So he's able to win headers as well. I mean, he's six foot. He's got 86 jumping on basic chem. So that's a pretty great... Um, those are good attributes for winning headers. And he does win headers. And you'll see in the video, he wins a couple of um, uh, um, headers from goal kicks and corners. He scores. He scored a couple of header goals for me. Um, so he's really a balanced card. He's pretty cheap. Um, at the moment, he's going for about 19k. So if you're on a budget and you want somebody who's really solid, I, I mean, honestly, 19k for a striker that has 90 pace, 90 shooting, and you know, 96 strength. I mean, you, you can't get much better than that. So you might as well just try him out, see if he fits your system. And I, I should say this that. Um, I didn't score like a massive amount of goals with him because in the system that I was playing with, um, I had Willian and Rashford up top playing right forward and left forward with him. So they were doing a lot of goal scoring too. So I didn't need Troy Deeney to score all the goals. I would be interested to see how he would work in a system where he was the, you know, I mean, he is my main goal scorer, but not my only goal scorer. Um, I have a team full of goal scoring midfielders and, you know, forwards. So I didn't need him to score all of the goals. So, and really, he works with any style of play. He could work in a possession side, he could work in a counter attacking side. The two statistics that are of worry that you're, that you might be worried about are his stamina is only 70 and his agility, like I mentioned earlier, is pretty bad. Um, 62 agility. Um, on basic chem, he's got 67 agility. Does the job. He's able to hold up the play with his strength and his body, but um, he, yeah, he's not that great of a dribbler, and sometimes you need to sub in another striker um, and replace him late on in the game. If you go into extra time, you'll probably need to sub him out. Um, his stamina, he, he doesn't last the entire game. Not every time. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people have been really uh, skeptical and curious about the ultimate scream card. So I, I got a decent feedback on the Ethan Empadu video and um, I thought I would do another ultimate scream. So I really hope this was helpful. I'm going to be trying to post more reviews on certain players and certain informs and special cards. So um, if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel and I'll be posting more FIFA 19 videos and reviews. Thanks for watching, guys.